In this video, I'm talking all about adjustment layers. What are they? Why should you be using them? And why are they so handy? Well, I'm gonna talk all about that in today's video. So let's get into it. Adjustment layers are a really, really handy tool when it comes to applying effects to multiple video clips on your timeline. Let me show you what I mean. So when we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first want to begin by throwing some footage onto the timeline. So I'm gonna throw two separate clips onto our timeline. So we've got this clip of myself doing a character intro, and then I've got this other clip of the London Eye. Now, typically, if I wanted to add an effect to both of these video clips, I would have to go into effects, search for the effect that I'm using, drop it onto our first clip, and then we'll drop it onto our second clip. And that's all well and good if you've only got two clips on the timeline. But what if you've got a really large project? You've got over 100 clips on the timeline. You've got all of these intricate edits and you need to throw this effect onto everything on the timeline. What do you do? Well, this is where the adjustment layer comes in really handy. So we'll take the black and white off both of those and we'll go into project. We'll go to new item adjustment layer and then we'll press OK on this window. Now we'll drag the adjustment layer on top of everything. So I'm gonna drop it on video layer four and we'll pull that all the way to the right. So we'll extend the duration out to the right. Now, when I drop that black and white effect onto the adjustment layer, it will affect both the first clip and the second clip and everything that is underneath the adjustment layer. Think about the adjustment layer almost like an umbrella. So basically whatever is under the umbrella or the adjustment layer will be affected by whatever is on the adjustment layer. So if I shorten the length of this adjustment layer up to the cursor, you can see that when the cursor is above the adjustment layer, the video is black and white. But when I go over and the adjustment layer is no longer there, the video goes back to color. And that's because only the video underneath the adjustment layer is affected. So if you wanted this to affect your entire project, then you want to make sure that your adjustment layer is completely covering your entire project. Now the adjustment layer is also really handy when you've only got a few clips because you can manipulate the intensity of the effects. So if I was to drop the black and white effect on to our video clip directly rather than the adjustment layer, there's no way for me to adjust the intensity of this effect. But when I put that onto the adjustment layer, I can now use the opacity of the adjustment layer and pull this down to zero and the effect completely disappears. That's because the opacity of the adjustment layer is 0%. But when I pull the opacity of the adjustment layer up to around 50%, you can now see the effects starting to shine through. And that's because the adjustment layer opacity and therefore the opacity of the effect is now 50%. So this means if you've got a really nice effect, but it's looking a little bit too intense, you can just pull the opacity down a touch and you'll pull the intensity of that effect down as well. Adjustment layers are really helpful and it's a tool that I always use when I'm editing music videos and short films. So if you don't know about the adjustment layer, then get to know, start using the adjustment layer and I promise you it's gonna make applying effects to your footage a million times easier. And there you go. That is the adjustment layer inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching.